ready, Justin? Okay. Um, okay, so we'll start with the audience. Somebody give me an object. Anything. A lamp. A lamp. A to- I believe he's going to say something crazy. A toaster. Um, somebody give me a color. What was the first one you said? Orange. Orange toaster. What should this poem be about? Spinach? I thought she said spinach. <laughs> Finishing. Orange toast. Ooh. <laughs> I had a toaster in my home. The toaster began to short circuit, kind of like your confidence when things don't always work out. I put this toast inside of the toaster, like I put my idea inside of my prayer closet, but the toaster began to short circuit. Like the dream wasn't done, and I started to see smoke, and this smoke was orange, like fire, like it was, it was sounding an alarm, like something is broken. Don't you know your? Don't you see your dream cooking and your lack of confidence? Don't you see your dream cooking? But, but I get it. You used to lunchables. You're not used to food that take time. So go ahead and unplug that toaster. Make this bread from scratch, cause some dreams gotta be slow cooked. Yo, your passion ain't no lunchable. Not process. Your passion more like a London fall. Don't you know how you make a good tea? It's my favorite tea. I'll show you. You sip the tea at the right amount of time. And while it's cooling off, because the tea bag got to seep like that suffering that'll sit in the soul of you, get hot enough to change your flavor oh, wow. so the audience can taste it. See, you think your dream is a hootie. Nah, baby, your dream is a Ferrari. Takes time, has a high value. Can't anybody buy it? It's not free, not no BOGO, not no buy one, get one free. Everybody not driving around with what you got. Church furniture. Your dream is also like church furniture. It's traditional. Most churches these days swapping out their pews for fancy chairs. No, you a church pew. Your church, your mother done sat on this pew and cried some things. There's history inside of your passion. It is an altar. Don't you know your gift is sacred? Why are you letting everybody run around in the church and you tell them, sit down, take heed, there's holy word on this tongue? Your dream is not like unseasoned chicken. Why you moving so quick? Let it marinate. Put it inside the bag. Season it with faith, long suffering, resilience, creativity. Shake it up. Put it in the fridge to get cold. I know you hate the winter, but there are things in the winter that summer can't give you, like patience, calculus. like hope. Your dream a lot like calculus. See, I hate math. I went to Bible school. We didn't learn how to put one and two together. So when it came to this business thing, it, it was like calculus to me. Bank accounts and budgets and finances. And I just wanted to dream. But sometimes you got to become students. Learn a new thing like calculus. Be patient. Your brain is smart enough to catch it up. You know your mama ain't raised no food. This, this, this waiting room is fertilization. You being fertilized. You think these stages are small. There is no small stage when the hearts in the room are big. You'd rather pour into 10,000, not knowing the 10 that you reach can touch 10 million. Why are you in a rush? There are no stepping stools, only opportunities. There are no stepping tools. There are no stepping tools. Don't you know that this is your coupon book? You get a coupon off suffering because you sat down long enough. See, you wanted a discount too soon. No, nah, you got to work for your days. Oh. You wanted something quick, but God said, if you sit in this grief long enough, it's a coupon So 10 years later when grief comes, you know how to get out of it sooner because you sat here. Right, yeah. Your passion. Your passion will one day cut you a check so big you can fly to Jamaica off your craft. Your craft gonna pay for your vacation. No more scraping. No more nine to five and a, pa- and a passion. Be patient. It's coming. Your passion will put you in first class, I believe. Your passion will put you in first class. But if you rush, you move too fast, your passion will be like a burnt brown. Instead of the crispy cut edges that are nice and, and delicate in your favorite part, you in such a rush. Your life is like a burnt brownie. Slow down. Where are you going? Ain't you heard the story about a fish who was looking for the ocean? And the shark said, baby, this is the ocean. The fish say, no, nah, this this just water. That's what happens when you move too fast. You miss out on your life, waiting for your life. This is the ocean. Slow down. Swim slower. Don't catch salmonella from your insecurity. You leave your confidence in the hands of other people. It gets infected, turns into a virus, poisons your passion, poisons your audience. Please heal. You bleeding on your audience. And it's okay if you're nappy headed. And I won't tell you to straighten it. There's history in them coils. 
You black, you beautiful. Your roots only talking about where you came from. So don't comb it out. Let it shake loose. Nappy heads are beautiful heads. That's your mama's curls in your head. Your grandfather growing out of your scalp. Bring him with you, make him proud. Last one. Because this is my home show. The crazy thing is every city I've been to, I brought home with me. And so when I come here, I, I may not be Giannis. I may be five foot one instead of six foot whatever he is. But when I come home, my welcome mat is just like the city of Milwaukee. The Bucks won the championships. This is my championship. And I'm proud to be here. So, oh, child, you said finish. So just make sure when you put your passion in that toaster, when the toaster short circuits, you do everything you can to finish that meal. The audience is hungry for what you have. You finish what you start. And I'm talking about your passion. And if that means quitting other things, you finish quitting that thing so you can finish what you're supposed to start. God started a work in you and he won't stop until you finish.